Spring has come. Sounds better have changed. Can we really see the interchange now? The APC is driving on woods? Yes, you understood correctly. I'm talking about the new patch, version 14.5. It's quite massive, they added a lot of stuff, and it's surprising that it happened exactly at the time of the vibe. I decided to try it out a bit first, to understand what to focus on for the video. Let's see what BG has prepared for us. Just entering the stash, we already noticed some minor changes. The certain table has been moved up. Also, some indicator appeared, which tells us that the stash can be expanded. Cool. Going out on the raid, it immediately catches our eye how the weather has changed. It still more strongly reminds us of stalker, slash, mud, yellow grass, and the sometimes even snow. It's truly atmospheric. I'd like to draw your attention separately to the sound. Besides the visual changes, we hear separate sounds of spring, birds chirping, crows, some other birds, but that's not all. In fact, they also added various ambient sounds. Sometimes you can hear the creaking of a crane. Or ducks howling, or maybe barking. Previously, the wind was always the same, affecting only how much the trees swayed. Now, depending on its intensity, its promise changes. A light wind might easily be drowned out by headphones. You almost won't notice it. A wind of medium straight will be more noticeable. A strong one won't let you forget about it. And if there's a storm, even active headphones won't cope with it normally. And this isn't the limit. That's a strong storm that makes you not even hear your own thoughts. In the patch notes, it's written that Wayne started to sound different indoors. I decided to test it. Here we are outside. And now let's go inside. Indeed, the difference is noticeable, but as soon as you approach an open window or door, we hear the sound of street rain again. It would be great, of course, if they added the sound of raindrops hitting the window, but they have not brought that in yet. By the way, the sound of moving at minimum speed is now audible. But there's a peculiar feature that when the character walks on metal or wood, you hear exactly the same footsteps, not the sound of metal or wood. But there's a big problem. This sound isn't audible everywhere. I don't know, maybe it's a problem with the offline mode specifically. But if the same thing happens in ways, then it bothers me quite a bit. Let's go back to the stash again. Now you don't need to use ammo tables anymore. Finally, the developers added this feature directly into the game. By opening the description of any ammo, we can see their penetration characteristics. It's really convenient, even for me, an experienced player. It's much nicer to look at than to dig into tables. They brought back the ricochet chains indicators on helmets. It's uh, strange that they removed it in the first place, but they have not brought it back on face shields for some reason. An exchange for a toy pistol has appeared. It's unclear what it's for, just blue and funny. You can unload a whole magazine into PMC's face, but you won't kill them. It only takes away 1 HP per hit. Bullets fly very slowly and not very far, but it's funny that at least 
leaves bullet holes on targets, in ground zero anyone can spam, and even though they are just babies up to level 20, fighting against the same kind, and high level guys against high level guys. And if a high level guy takes a baby into a party, they'll go to the high level area together. There is no such division for scales, so they can go against anyone. Which, by the way, is a very strange decision. Because high level players have normal loot in ground zero, but newcomers don't. Screenshots have already been sent where they show how they found graphics cards in this location. Do you think I'll leave you without a call to subscribe? Hell no! Subscribe and you'll see hundreds more videos on this game. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. BG has also added 101 ways to report a scoundrel. Literally, in the dark tag, there's now a separate button for it. You can go in, perfectly study the BMC profile, and then decide to report them. The rightly added the report function directly in the profile. And uh, there's also an additional button after death to conveniently go in and study the enemy. But now you can report for each point separately. Lightning at the interchange. Well, you can compare for yourself how it was before and after. Visibility has improved, it's not such a black mess anymore, but honestly it's still pitch black. I don't think people who hated this map will suddenly fall in love with it, because it's still grey and unpleasant. It's funny, they said they fixed vaulting on sanatorium, but it actually doesn't work. Maybe some specific individual windows have become usable for vaulting, but definitely not all of them. APC on boots. Here's a big problem. They've added it, but catching it and riding it is a mission impossible. More than an hour was spent on this goal. However, it just wasn't happening. Apparently, because the location is huge and every player who sees this APC rushes to use it immediately. Here's an approximate map of its movements. If you are lucky, you might get widened. By the way, I want to congratulate us. Remember the video where I talked about why Tarko is bad? And there was a point about Iron Hands. They reworked them in this patch. The principle is roughly this. We tried this different weapons and came to the conclusion that a bullet can either penetrate or not penetrate one of the limbs, in case it does. Then damage goes into the limb, and the reduced damage behind it. Consequently, the higher the armor penetration, the higher the chance that a part of the body will be penetrated at all. And when it is penetrated, then another part of the body behind it will be more severely affected. Another very nice thing. We all know that after taking a painkiller, we get this vignette, and when you use a painkiller in combination with the NVGs, it just looks terrible. So they removed that, and now you can use painkillers normally during nighttime raids with NVGs. Once again, they improved the intelligence of the bots. How they will hide behind cover? Until enough time had passed for me to truly understand and see the before and after. So it's up to you to judge. Write in the comments whether you noticed did the bots get smarter or not. They also fixed the auto vaulting function. It used to significantly cut FPS. However, BG emphasizes that this was specifically in offline ways. Well, we'll believe them. But it doesn't seem to reduce FPS anymore. In the Hall of Fame, they promised some new button that shows bonuses. But I can't seem to find it. It seems like these clocks were always here. Write in the comments if I'm wrong. These are far from all the changes that came with this patch, but you can read all of them on the developer's website anyway. I just voiced what caught my eye first. Thanks for watching until the end. See you in the next video. Goodbye.